just got done seeing this movie, Mr. Glass. And all I can say is, I got Shyamalan. What's good? Do we have some things to talk about? Glass, the M. Night Shyamalan film that is the third act to the Unbreakable series. We have Unbreakable, we have Split, and now we have Glass. So, all these three are completed and it's over. Or is it? Well, overall, this movie was amazing. I personally enjoyed it and I thought it was a very well put together movie given its past few movies in the trilogy itself. I love that they did flashbacks upon both movies that connected all into this current one right now. And they even gave those like little things, like certain characters from the first movie and stuff like that, that connected into this movie in some way, shape or form still. And I like that, that was pretty cool. That was really cool. The fact that they had the son, Bruce Willis the son, David Dunn's son, all grown up, like they still had the real him in there. They still had the uh, Elijah's mom still in there. That was pretty cool. Normally they'll just write that out or a death scene or they'll just recast the person to make them look kind of like them, but not really them. I love that they did that with the real people. Like that was, that was dope. I don't think I've ever really seen that before. And if I have, then, you know, whatever. Clearly, it wasn't enough for me to remember right now, so, I mean, whatever. The character development was probably the dopest part of this whole movie for me. Bruce Willis as David Dunn did very exceptional in this version of this movie. Unbreakable was a little dry, it was a little slow, but it was still a good movie to me. Some would disagree, apparently, but... All in all, I thought Unbreakable was still a good movie because it wasn't about the action and then all that other extra stuff. It was about the character development of this movie you know, placing people who think they have superpowers in like our real life, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's crazy talk. So I would imagine it to be kind of slow building up. It's nothing in particularly over the top. James McAvoy as Kevin Wendell Crumb, AKA The Horde. <sighs> God. That nigga needs some type of award, Oscar, something. That performance was unreal. You watch it and you forget that this is just one guy playing the same person. Like you don't forget because you still see his face because it looks exactly the same. But the way he captures it in his acting is just, my goodness, bro. Nigga, bump all that. I'm about to say some stuff. This is gonna be a spoiler review. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't, I can't. There's no way. This movie is too good for me to not be able to say stuff without spoiling it. It's over, nigga. It's a wrap. Hold up. Nigga, David Dunn's a security guard. He's been a security guard for the last 19 years. He's got his own business. He's out here still doing his vigilante thing, binding up niggas, meeting up niggas in the subway, and molly whopping them later on if he can't get to them right then and there because he's a vigilante. He can't just be out there doing things like that, you know what I mean? So he's gotta, like, he's gotta handle it. He's gotta handle it later, but he do handle it. The horde out here is still capturing folks eating people and things like that, get a whole bunch of girls missing and then they find them dead and things like that. So they still doing their beast horror thing. And the horror starting to lose a little bit of faith because they ain't getting that notoriety like they were promised they were supposed to be getting and stuff like that. But we still get great performances from James McAvoy playing Patricia, playing Hedwig, etc. And of course, Dennis. Dennis was probably my favorite amongst the characters in the horror because his development was the most crucial, I think. Uh, he just flat out didn't want to do this anymore. I mean, he still did it, but he just wasn't feeling it no more. It's like, not, it's, it wasn't what, we, what I was promised. I'm not here for all this anymore. And I can't keep doing this. I can't keep living like this. So seeing that development was pretty dope. I like, I like the direction that it went with that. You find more of those personalities. You get this bro one. You get this, uh, <laughs> you can see more on Jay, the diabetic, her little floozy self. You gonna fall for the chick with the diabetes, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> that was great. Nigga, Elijah Price is too smart, bro. He has, I'm glad, I'm glad that this movie was designed and designated specifically for him because he didn't really do much in Unbreakable and he wasn't even in Split. He was just mentioned in Split. So giving him this movie and giving him a chance to like show us what he's capable of and his process and how smart this guy really is, even with such a faulty, 
faulty bone structure is such a weakness. It's really freaking dope. I, I, I can't say that enough, but I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. Yeah, I, I hate the way it ended. I hate the way it ended. I think the way it ended sucked, but it was necessary the way it ended. So, nigga, everybody died. David died. Horde died. Elijah died. First of all, let's talk, hold up, hold up. Let's talk about the, the real villain in this. The stupid therapist lady, I don't even remember her name. She wasn't even important, but the, the therapist lady, man, she was something else, man. Yo, I don't know what secret society that they had going on or whatever, but her presence was annoying, and I kept trying to figure the whole thing out. Like, it's something about her I just, I don't like. Even from the trailers from beforehand seeing it, I just, I wasn't with it. Like, it's something about her I don't like. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, you were superhuman too, and you just trying to, like, throw off on them to throw off the scent or something like that like why are you trying so hard to figure it out why are you trying so hard to make them believe that they tripping you know what i mean and it just didn't make any sense but i was trying to figure her out like the whole movie i was just bugging trying to figure it out just pinpoint like each stage of the movie and trying to figure out yo what's your angle here all that work all that concentration and everything and she ended up being a part of this weird secret society that's been doing this for thousands of years tens of thousands of years stopping people who got some type of special ability to not let the world know that people can do these things and keep everybody asleep, so to speak. And good old Elijah, he just knew better. He had conviction, he had hope that there was more to it than that, and that he was not crazy. It reminded me of Watchmen, Rorschach, the way he went out. He died, he might've died, but in the end, he still won because he put that out there for the world to see that we do exist. Like you can't just explain niggas flipping over cars barehanded and bend and metal and all the things that they're able to do. You can't just throw that away with simple science and nothing more. You know what I mean? He said that this isn't even a ultimate showdown. This is an origin story. And I felt that. Like, I felt that right here. So it's not done. It can't be done. They're out there now. People know they exist. It's all over the world now. The secret society has failed and that's dope. So now maybe other people will finally see it and they'll be like, ah, oh, I knew I wasn't crazy. I know I wasn't the only one, blah, 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 blah. So now maybe more people will come out and they'll be more awake. Hopefully there's more heroes than villains, of course. And since they've done Son and Split Chicks, what's her name, Casey, and Elijah's mom is still around to witness these things and stuff like that, maybe now they can guide some of these people or something like that, you know what I mean? Like this movie reminded me a lot of what the show Alphas should have been. And I can't even exaggerate that in the most expressive of ways. That's what Alpha should have been like before they got canceled. But they definitely got canceled. I enjoyed this movie. It was dope. I will buy this when it does come out so I can complete my trilogy set. Of course, you can't just not have it now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, people who've seen this movie, and let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment so I can talk back to you. I ain't nobody, so I'm gonna hit you back. I don't got nothing to do. That's not true. I have so many things to do. Been trying to guess the plot twist the entire movie. And when it finally happened, I had my guesses and I was like, ah, see, I knew it was something. Ha! Shyamalan. <laughs>